first, I think it's really important just to emphasize the really positive position dairy has in the marketplace at the moment. It is the most frequently shopped category. The UK, uh, average UK household will, will shop 116 times in a year. Um, in terms of growth, it's outperforming many sectors within the total store. And in fact, for every pound of growth that's been generated in the last year, 12 pence has come directly from dairy. Um, it's also successfully premiumized, be that shoppers trading up from, from standard milk to added value, or from spreads to spreadable butter and particularly block butter. In terms of opportunities, challenges but opportunities, there, there's two I think that are worth calling out. Um, the first one is about recognising the importance of host foods and the growing occasions within the home and out of the home. Um, if we think about something that dairy is associated like tea, actually tea is declining. We're forecasting um, if those declines continue for the next five years, about £250 million of milk will be effectively lost. Um, Alongside this, and arguably a bigger challenge, and I can't emphasise this enough, it is the health challenge and the messaging around health. Um, consumers want added value through health benefits and they would like as much natural, um, less processed food within their diet as possible. And these are clearly two platforms that dairy can play really strongly in, particularly if you think about something like protein. So I think, in summary, my call to action um, today would be to think about the consumer think about consumer needs and think how, how well dairy can meet them because they can meet them.